Before we even start a project, we look at what exists and try to distill what about it do we want to keep. I think for the players that main him, they still love Mordekaiser, right? The Mordekaiser is iconic to the game. He's like a walking fortress. Unstoppable it wall smashes of metal. people. It's the fantasy of being this sort of lord of death. From a visual standpoint and the gameplay, I think there's a disconnect. Like, when you see the splash, you kind of think you know what his play style is going to be. And then in game, wait, am I a mage? Do I even use yeah. my mace? And so in the VGU, we really wanted to approach how do we make sure that through line is clean all the way while keeping at least the feelings and the elements and the things that those old players did like about the champion and bringing them forward. So. When we pick a champion that we're ready to do a VGU on, we assemble a team that's the designer, a writer, or narrative, and an artist that we call DNA. Uh, the DNA pod sits down and talks about like, how do we take the old pizza feet Mordekaiser and make him look like a modern champion, but still immediately recognizable as Mordekaiser. We really wanted to focus on the fact that he is this indomitable warlord who's able to crush his enemies and capture their soul for his own purposes. This was sort of an earlier stage just trying to figure out the shape of Mordekaiser, what was the, the key visual motifs. And that's where we came up with the idea of making it like architecture. We looked at his entire kit very, very closely to see if there's anything we should bring forward, like the ultimate. Mordekaiser's old ultimate was he would kind of put a debuff on a target, and if the target died while that debuff was on them, then Mordekaiser kind of captured their ghost. He basically becomes a two-man army at that point. And though that is cool, it doesn't really fit with what somebody with a big mace wants to do. It still takes away from the thing that you want to do with him, which is to dominate people with Mordekaiser, not have Mordekaiser command someone else to dominate. Today, and then go through we did try to bring the ghost forward, and by try, I mean we had it in for months and months. And at the end of the day, what we found was that the experience we were creating as a whole was sort of detrimented by having the ghost. So we ultimately decided that while it pained us greatly to remove it, that it would be better for the current kit to just not have that brought forward. Overall, we wanted to deliver on like the core of what we believe Mordekaiser to have been all along, which is this like death archon. In this particular case, I think you could represent Lord of Death anywhere on the kit, but the obvious spot to attack from is the ultimate. So it's with the ultimate that we're like, how can we create this story in League of Legends in a matter of seconds? So Mordekaiser's current background, Mordekaiser is interested in seizing the souls of the living to help him build the afterlife that he was denied. So he's constructing his own death realm. In terms of gameplay, Mordekaiser can choose a victim to bring with him to the death realm, and they are cut off from their teammates completely. So the death realm is just another interaction layer of the game. So I can't see anybody in the Summoner's Rift layer, and no one in the Summoner's Rift layer can see me in the, de in the death realm layer. So now all of the things about using my teammates, getting knockups or heals or stuns or all that stuff is gone. It's me versus Mordekaiser, Mordekaiser versus me. Well, another thing we wanted to keep in mind too is the opponent side of it. We didn't want this spell to just feel like a death sentence of Mordekaiser casts this on me, I just actually die and there's nothing I can do about it, which is why there's still a fight. There's really cool plays of flashing over a wall to get away from him, or if you are really crafty, kind of outsmart him, and having that goal can allow the enemies who get pulled into the death room to still have a fighting chance against him. I feel like with the update, this is a great opportunity for us to sort of reintroduce League of Legends players to Mordekaiser. And for the players out there who really, really like old Mordekaiser, my hope is that we have considered those players as much as we can, and that we have brought forward the best version of the champion that we can deliver to as many players as want to play it, like feeling like they get to be this Death Lord juggernaut. The power of the mace smashing their opponent, and then the ability with that ultimate to say to your opponent, there is no escape from Mordekaiser.